Hello, hello, I'm the Empress Scribe, trying to find and make some sense in this crazy world, which, let's face it, is a little bit crazier than usual. First things first, I'm so sorry that I've been away so long. I missed you guys. Um, I'd like to say that I was taking a bit of a break, but no. R.I.P. my phone. Tonight it has a proper burial. I won't leave it so long um, from now on because, you know, I missed you guys. It's lovely to see you. Make yourselves comfy. Um, I'd also like to kick off with a very big thank you, shout out and respect to the astrologer Matthew Curry. I had a reading with him and do you know what? He was bang on the money. You can find him on um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, BeliefNet, um, and even if you're not thinking of having a reading, he's worth following and finding because he posts the lolliest memes. So, Matthew, Matthew, hey, Matthew, thank you so much. Big love, big respect, means a lot. Without any further ado, we're going to get on with this, the extra special how-to. How-to, 20 how-to, like, tips of getting through 2020. So, without further ado, number one, this. It's kind of like a hammock, but you put it for your face. It covers your nose, your mouth, your chin. It's called a mask. Um, until we find the um, vaccine for COVID, until COVID has completely gone, this is the best way to kind of protect yourself when you leave. And yeah, you may be fine, but who's to say that a person you encounter may not? And um, yeah, it's not an infringement of your civil liberties to wear one. You can go for the more utilitarian offerings. Um, you can find whatever kind of design you like online. But um, yeah, wear a mask. You wear it like this. You don't wear it like that. You don't wear it like that, unless you want to go to sleep. You don't wear it like that. And you don't wear it like that. You wear it like this. Let's make wearing a mask as, you know, fundamental is when you leave your place you leave it with a mask your keys your phone a means of paying things and um yeah let's just make that a base part of um things shall we yes wear a mask number one number two get deep with your breathing in through the nose out through the mouth breathe in deeply through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> um, this is a really good thing to do because it slows down the, um, when you're having a fight or flight, like, uh, or adrenaline, or you're just being irritated and we're all on edge. It's just a fact, um, particularly with this year. Did we mention 2020 is quite the year? Yes. Um, what it ten what it does is it slows down it it calms your brain it calms down adrenal spikes it calms down the parasympathetic um gland it your whole body will just start to relax so you breathe in deeply through the nose and then out through the mouth you just make the out breath longer than the deep breathing if you're into yoga you can um do your um mantra whatever it is that you do if not just just breathe in <sighs> guarantee it will help you calm down when it just feels like it's getting a bit too much okay okay three it's the magic number and it's the third part of this list um 2020 it's just it's trolling everyone it's there's not an, an omnipotent overlord just trying to wreck with everyone just 2020 it's just it's trolling everyone all the years met up 2016 said do you know what i wrecked with everyone to which 2020 said oh yeah hold my beer yeah i felt retro it's this like 90s brand called corona watch this 2020 is trolling everyone like, even disaster capitalists didn't see this coming no really they didn't um just 2020 is trolling everyone we got this got this okay number four um on the list do not take 2020 personally please don't it's nothing personal it's just everything that happens this year everything that's just like like your your whole like your career 
relationship um, collapsing. Yeah, that's nothing personal. It's really not. I mean, if you're really awful in your relationship, then yeah, maybe. But no, like the external forces that happen of 2020, it's nothing personal. Um, it's 2020. Honestly, that's what it is. It's nothing personal. Just remember this. 2020, it's nothing personal. Five. 2020 is not forever. It's just the way things are right now. At some point, we will look back on 2020 and say, do you know what? We actually survived. 2020 was quite the year, right? <laughs> yeah. 2020 is not forever. Bad times don't last forever. This absolute doozy of a doozy is not going to just keep rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. No. Even hurricanes, like, you know, eventually die down. They do. So remember, 5, 2020. It's not forever. It's just right now. 6. Um, be honest with yourself. Um, like, uh, we're all experiencing some kind of like, uh, or like, uh, but, um, yeah, like, be honest with yourself, all the people that love you in your life, um, be it family, friends, um, and by family, I mean, not just biological family, but chosen family, um, friends, buds, um, your loved ones, um, or loved one, you know, sort of like... <sighs> Now you can you can turn around and say, do you know what I'm fine? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Worldwide uncertainty. Um even oil has just gone boom at one point. Um but yeah, I'm fine. Now you can lie to other people, but you're also lying to yourself. So be honest with yourself. And also people who really do love you and really do care about you, even even your workmates, the ones that you do the Zoom calls with, you know, hi, 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 hi. Yeah, we all know the drill. Like, you don't have to just, you don't have to be like, <laughs> okay, maybe not tell your workmates everything, but um, just be honest with yourself and be honest with the people around you. One caveat, um, possibly not a good idea to be... Um, excruciatingly honest with your children be they literal children or you being caregivers to them um, because children do take they take everything very personally and they personalize everything so um and also offloading on kids is a bit unfair so um caveat do be honest it's okay to say to them i'm kind of stressed because things are just like this it's going to be okay though, and it's nothing to do with you. I mean, kids even take it really personally when parents divorce, even though it's like nothing to do with them, right? Right. So remember, be honest with yourself and with people around you, okay? Got that. Mm. Oh, seven, I won't watch them fall. Seven. Like, uh, number seven is, um, you know, seven. Lucky number seven. Um, seven, seven, seven. Ah, number seven is, um, might be a good idea to, like, rein in expensive habits. Because, um, you know, whether you're on furlough, whether, uh, you know, just, like, I get it. I really do. You know, we, we like treats. Yeah, sort of like it gives us a momentary spike of pleasure to like get something really, really nice. But now is a good time to just curtail the expensive habits and expensive treats just a bit. I mean, you know, tempting though it is to get a limo to the other side of the country and like have a socially distant while of time. No, let's let's just kind of like scale back, and so when things do get back to normal, we will have plenty of funds to have um plenty of funnage with. So number seven is um curtail those um expensive habits and expensive treats for now. Um, in the future, when things are not quite as they are, yeah, okay, maybe, but um, yeah, it might be a good idea to have like 
much funding. Number eight, check your coping strategies. Um, we're humans. We we deal with things the way that we deal with things, and um, you know we cope with things the way that we cope with things. But you know, depending on what the how we cope with them, like for example, I don't know if you saw the statistic, but drinking has actually increased during lockdown. That's one thing that's been quite consistent. Um, it's raised because you know people can't socialize so they've been drinking at home with super sunday or as i like to call it pissman stay um did you see lots of people kind of like queuing up in their sunday best just to get drunk yeah um alcohol isn't terrible but you know just like if you're drinking or doing anything to excess you might want to just look at it, what that is yes that does include spending time on the internet I know I know we've all been guilty of that but yeah might be an idea to curtail like just curtail like keep keep an eye on like the things that you're doing to kind of like cope if it's a healthy thing then it's a healthy thing if it's not I mean, even healthy things, if you're running for, you know, like 13 hours out of a 24 hour day as a means of dealing with this, um, might be an idea to, um, yeah, because the first step in like dealing with something properly is to deal with it properly. Okay. 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 Nine. There is no shame in asking for help. Of the government assistance kind. If you've lost everything, you've lost everything. Government assistance is there for a reason. So ask for help. I'd hope that was a given anyway, but I it bears repeating. If you need help of the government assistance kind, you need help of the government assistance kind, and that's fine. Um, if you need to move back to your parents, you need to move back to your parents for a while. If um you need to call in that, you know, that 20 quid that you lent a mate when, you know, you weren't that fussed about it. Then you need to call that 20 quid in. Just asking for help of the financial kind. There's, there's no shame in it. Government assistance is there for a reason. If you've lost everything, then you've lost everything and it's there for a reason. So nine, don't be afraid of asking for help of the government assistance variety or, you know, asking for money back that you've lent to people unless of course they're really strapped maybe ask for half of it back 10 um try to um find pleasure in like the little things um no this isn't a like extolling the virtues of like nimsy little canapes um but uh, we can't do or rather the big things that we were planning to do this year, they're kind of curtailed. You know, for now we can't do them. So the little things that we enjoy doing, um, try and find the pleasure in all the little things, like be it the soap that you wash your hands with all the time because COVID and you're not an animal. Um, <clears throat> like doing the washing up and like, oh my gosh, I finally worked through the washing up. I know, find enjoying the washing up. Or... No, just even hearing the birds chirping in the morning as opposed to being woken up by um, stuff. Yeah, find pleasure in the little things. Um, which brings me on to 1 and 10, that's 11. Um, give thanks for the little things. Um, you know, it's it, there's actual psychology behind it, what we focus on. Um, that kind of expands because we've put our focus on it. So if we focus on all the things that are frustrating us, that's going to amplify. If we focus on all the things that we're thankful for, that's going to amplify. Um, the little things like, oh, you know, roof over my head, you know, sleeping in a bed. Oh, a bed. Um, I had some nice food. Um, I appreciate the soap that I um, washed in. And um, yeah, so... Give thanks for the... It, 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 it literally does you good to do this. Yes, 11. Give thanks for the little things. 12. 2, 5, 
five, twelve. Um, try and do nice things, not for the getting a thanks back in uh, return, and also definitely not in the, oh, let me just do it for the gram, or do it for the TikTok, come on, man, just, just do something nice for, not for the getting a thanks back, but because you can, um, you know, if you want, from a biological point of view, when you do something nice, and it's not to get a thank you in return, or even if you do get a thanks in return, you your brain will reward you. Your brain gives you a little, oh, you did something nice, well done. So um, yeah, do something nice without um, any expectation of thanks, because you can. Um, it also helps to shift the focus away from things that are like miffing you or like endless rolling news of like yet more fuckery on an epic scale so yeah do something nice without any expectation of getting anything nice um number oh ah oh, 12 just to reiterate do something nice without getting any kind of like expectation of getting anything nice in return because your brain will reward you for it because you know hormones chemicals 13, three, yeah, that's three, that's five, and that's another five, so that's 13. Keep your focus, keep your structure. I know we all like to believe that we're highly sophisticated human beings, but keeping focus, keeping some semblance of normality, um, you know, it helps to remind us that we're normal and yeah, yeah, it's it's important to do around these times. Uh, you know, things like washing your hair, having a wash, putting on clean clothes. Um, you know, if you're wearing somewhat more loose clothes for you know WFH, that's working from home. That's okay. But, you know, it's important to keep a routine. Um, otherwise, before you know it, there is just like green overflowing in the sink and. Um, you know, the fridge is terrifying and no one really needs that, do they? No. So try and keep some sense of it, which kind of brings me on to number 14. That's four, five, five, fourteen. 14. But if like the focus and um, like structure and all those kind of things, if they just kind of like go to crap for a bit, that's kind of understandable. These are really weird times um, and that's fine try and get back on the saddle as much as possible but if that but if you do fall off that saddle and you know things kind of go to oh these are weird times and that's fine so yeah 14 5 10 15 if you need medical help you need medical help don't be afraid to ask for medical help okay um that also includes physical and mental health. Um, uh, we are experiencing globally a mental health crisis. Um, it's not just you, it's everyone. Um, and it's fine to ask for help. I'd kind of hope that our generation and um, older generations um, know this, but I'm just going to reiterate this in case someone does not know this. Um, if you need help, you kind of need help and it's okay to ask for medical help. Okay? Okay. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Uh, 16. Oh my God, we got to 16 already. Well, oh, keep a good sleep pattern. Um, we've all been guilty of kind of like, before you know it, it's just kind of like, oh, what, really? Oh, and then before you know it, it's like three in the morning and you've fallen down that TikTok rabbit hole or like just before you know it you you wake up and it's six in the morning and you conked out on the sofa and we all know the difference when we've had a really bad sleep yeah we really feel it the next day I don't just mean physically but it's just like no don't at me I can't Ooh, no um so yes keep a good sleep pattern sleep cycle um switch off your phone after a certain point no internet after a certain point get a nice routine going for when you go to sleep um but yes uh um, and by the by uh, the weird dreams that you're having at night everyone is having weird dreams those are covid dreams apparently dreaming of um infestations of um insects 
is incredibly common and that's linked to the whole COVID thing. It's nothing to do with murder hornets. Horrible though they are. So yeah, 16, keep a good sleep cycle going. 17, 5, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 17. Um, do some kind of exercise. I appreciate that some people have um, spoonieisms or physical conditions or even with mental health conditions. You just don't feel like doing exercise. But serotonin is actually activated by movement. And those times where you just really don't feel like it and you've got like some kind of cleaning to do, just put on some music and do some kind of like motion as you're doing it. Exercise does help you feel better. Um, there's a reason why a lot of GPs and doctors kind of like say, yes, and your exercises. Yeah, do some kind of exercise. It doesn't have to be uh, running to the other side of the country and back again, but do some kind of exercise. That's really important. Number 17. 5, 10, 15, 18. Um, um, always tell the people in your life how you feel about them. Um, no, seriously, like the friends that you really cherish, um, you know, because life is short and, you know, we don't know what's around the corner, literally. So we may as well just say these things now and you may as well tell that person that's just really fucking you off to just fuck off. OK, so, yeah, tell people how you feel and why not? Because, you know, if it helps, it helps. Let let the people that you know in your life how much they mean to you. Because sometimes we don't know what's going on with them. And sometimes we just need to hear it. I mean, we can show it, but sometimes it's just nice to say um, just how much people matter. Yes? Yes. 19. That's 5, 10, 15, 9. Well, the 4 makes it to 9. Anyhow, 19. Watch what you consume. I don't mean just literally in like calorie counting like eating wise although that's really important but watch what you consume like digitally I mean like social media I mean like all those accounts that you know, just kind of make you feel a little bit more suck when you're just like scrolling through because like oh just yeah it's okay to meet people it's okay to unfollow people it's okay to snooze people I mean there are some people that we really love in real life but on digitally it's just like they can really do one right um yeah these are weird times I don't just mean covid I mean like politics I mean like you know oh, so be careful of what you consume and um yeah it's okay to snooze people, it's okay to mute people, it's okay to unfollow people, um, or rather unfollow accounts that just, they're not really doing it for you. 20, 5, 10, 15, 20. Remember, this is 2020 and this is totally not forever. Like, it's not. 2020 is not forever. It's just a blip in the... It's just a blip, a glitch in the matrix. 2020 is trolling us. 2020 is not forever. And I'm going to throw in one extra one. Number 21 is stay curious, keep learning, um, uh, stay politically active because Black Lives Matter. Um, and um, look towards the future because 2020, we're not always going to be enmeshed in it, are we? No. We're going to get through this because um, we don't stop learning once we leave school or uni or whatever. And um, like the little things that we do, whether it's signing a petition or, you know, just learning us, they don't just enrich us. They enrich our friends by proxy and they enrich future generations. And all the things that we start doing now, whether it's, you know, learning that extra language that we've always meant to because we're not going out as much, or um, getting a driver's license. It's not just for us, but it's for the future generations as well. So yeah, the bonus one, number 21, is to stay curious, stay learning, be politically active, and do something to look forward to in the future, because we will be in the future before you know, okay? 20 ways to get through 2020, with an extra one thrown in. I've been the Impress Scribe. 
you've been awesome. Time for the internet cat impersonation on the piano. Do 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 do. Like subscribe is just down there. Do 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 do. I will be right back with more lolly content. You're awesome. Be right back. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Oh, hi John, by the way.